and David Bologna, and as the rest of the authors, I'm from Universidad Politecnica de Madrid, and I'm going to present this work about the use of heterogeneity to improve the learning process of large group of students. We are dealing with a problem that comes from the subjects chemistry and technical drawing. Uh, as you probably know, at the end of uh, high school, uh, some students study chemistry or chemical drawing, but some, some students don't. Then they arrive at university and uh, we uh, find uh, very heterogeneous groups. Some students uh, know a lot about these subjects and some students uh, don't have a clue. So uh, we believe that the classical approach doesn't deal very well with this situation and we want to use heterogeneity as an opportunity, not as a problem. The traditional approach you can see here that has been to do uh, the so-called zero courses. So we took students and uh, give these kind of uh, lessons previous to the official lessons, and then we homogenize the group before starting the official lessons. So we deal, uh, at least the classical approach, dealt with these uh, thinking about uh, heterogeneity as a problem. We believe that we can use heterogeneity as an opportunity, so we don't do the zero courses, and then we can uh, consume less time, and also to use collaboration to improve the final uh, results. I'm going to explain a little bit more with this slide, the project. We structure uh, our classroom in three layers. Uh, first layer, uh, made by groups of the students. It's important to be these a student, the different color means different level of knowledge. These uh, groups should be heterogeneous. The second level is made by instructors. These instructors are the students that, that have passed already the subject and can help the new students. And the third layer, of course, uh, formed by the professors. We have two modules of control, an internal and external module, and everything is managed through a self-made software. I will explain a little bit more these uh, things in the next slides. So the internal resources that uh, are here to have an instant feedback of the classroom are Kahoot questions that well, have already been explained in a previous uh, presentation here to motivate the students. Also, we use traditional exercises, and uh, as external resources, we have used EDPuzzle. It's very useful to use this application to make videos and to insert different questions along the videos, and of course, the uh, Moodle platform. We have tried to improve the communication because it's important to have communication between all the layers uh, using Google Plus, which is a free social network that uh, is easy to use and everything has been uh, managed through this uh, software that we call ECAM. ECAM is a continuous evaluation of large group of students. You can see here uh, an image of the app. Uh, it is developed by Visual Studio, and it is uh, very useful to manage uh, the inputs of many, many applications. We, when we have EDPuzzle, Kahoot, Excel Sheets, we can use the ID of a student, uh, that in Spanish is DNI, the barcode, uh, using uh, barcode readers, to put all the inputs into the app, and then the app, you can tune the app uh, to do uh, several things and to, to fill your purposes. So with this, uh, we have done this experience uh, last year using 150 students that were grouped in 19 groups. It's important to understand that these groups were freely chosen. This is something that was tested before in this study. When students are, uh, when students are uh, given the choice to freely choose their group, they finally group each other in a heterogeneous uh, way. You don't need to make the groups. It's important also to understand that we have uh, studied the experience and competence of the students. Experience, uh, we call experience when students uh, have uh, knowledge because they have studied the subject, and competence we uh, call competence when they have skills. Maybe they don't have, they haven't studied the subject, but they have self uh, skills and learn faster than the others. The most important results are summarized in these tables. I will try to uh, go fast through this. 
basically high heterogeneity uh, seems to be uh, seems to produce higher marks. And we believe this is because students that are initially what we can say low level, they get motivated to, to get to the average uh, uh, of the group. And the students that are high level, you can see here that they have finally better grades because they teach the low level students and they get motivated through teaching. So, well, the main conclusions are explained here. Uh, freely formed groups, so random distribution, it was tested before and it works uh, well. The students with higher self assessed experience or competence have higher final marks, this is expected. Synergy grows from collaboration. This was probably the main purpose of this study, to see the collaboration between the students and that this results in better uh, marks, final uh, good learning. The level of software ECAN is very useful. I would say that it is necessary to manage all the uh, inputs. And communication must be improved. I said that we use Google Plus, but uh, I mean, students weren't very into this app, and we need to improve this communication. And well, uh, this is the end. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the organizers of the conference, uh, my university for the financial support.